Welcome back, everybody. I'm the Blonde Fox, and today we're going to continue playing some more Genshin Impact. Sure, okay, I'll play so, you another tune, but it'll really, Venti, you're going to interrupt my intro? How rude. Anyways, last time we left off, we were doing a lot more stuff in Dragonspine, which we're getting really close to being done. I have a feeling we're going to do a little bit more here, but we're getting pretty close to the point where we're not going to be able to do much more. I guess, in a sense, just because of the fact it's either going to be too long or it's stuff that really doesn't have much importance. It's just side questy stuff, which we have a lot of side quests we can kind of do everywhere, so it's not really that important to do there specifically. But anyways, I'm rambling, so we're going to try to finish up Dragon Spine up some more, and then we'll probably do a few side quests. But we're getting ready to move on with the main story, especially because, yay, today Sumeru came out, update 3.0. So we've got a lot more to do, because we still have to do uh, Inazuma and everything first. So, yeah, we're probably going to get back to the main story in the next couple of episodes in order to start working towards that goal again, because Inazuma is a very, very large area. Very large. So, yeah. Also, with all that being said, there is a new banner up right now. We got Tinari, I think. Tinari, I don't know how to say his name exactly, but really cool character. And he's actually going to be the first five star added to the standard permanent banner, which is going to be awesome. And we have a rerun of Zhongli, which we're going to be pulling for him because we didn't get him last time. And I've been doing dailies and of course what they give you for the updates and everything so we have enough wishes for a 10 pool so we should and we're really close to pity because we didn't get kazuha so we should hopefully get zhongli which would be awesome because he's phenomenal but anyways this has been kind of a long intro so i think i covered just about everything we also have dailies to do today too i figured we'll kind of mix it up do those first but yeah that should be everything i need to cover i think so yeah, i think that's it remember to like the video if you like it subscribe if you want to see more but without further ado uh, let's get right into the game okay so our first daily is uh, da, 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 the closest one. Yeah, L and the Wannabe Knight. This one's a really easy one. Well, mainly if you have a lot of characters to choose from. This one's really hard to do if you only have, like, the starter characters. kind of don't understand how they expect you to do it. Because there was sometimes early on, whenever I first started playing, that it seemed like this one was almost, like, undoable. Which I don't think any of the dailies are supposed to be undoable. But basically, she's just going to tell us how she's trying to figure out how to get more powerful technique, blah, blah, blah. And basically, she needs us to destroy all the dummies she sets up at once, or as close to as How once as possible. You have, like, oh, there's a chest once. over here. How did I never get this before? Anyways, you get, like, yeah, see, two seconds to destroy what all of these at once. And so, like, this one, hmm. I'm trying to think the best way I could probably do is if I... Oh, I see what they want us to do. They want us to use fire, so they want us to go like that up. And then you could use, uh... The Traveler's Windblade. I see how they want you to do this. I wonder go. if we could use Venti, though. So that's how to do awesome. It. I'm impressed. It's a very easy one, though. I, I kind of like this one, actually, just because it's kind of fun trying out the different things. Like, oh, what characters do you have on you? Let's see if you can do this. Or can you break these? Or I've done some interesting combinations where I've done some where it's like, you probably shouldn't have been able to, but I kind of finagled my way through it. Uh, let's see. Next closest one, Emergency. Let's see, this one is... It's been a while since I've done Monsta... Well, I mean, I've been doing these every day, so I guess it hasn't been a while. I kept getting the same ones, though. I kept getting the uh, the poetry ones where you have to help uh, Ella Musk with the hilly trolls where you have to read them poetry and everything. I got that one, like, three days in a row. It was very annoying. But anyways, it's been a while since I've had to do a lot of the different Monstat ones, because like I said, I've been getting a lot of duplicate ones here. And mainly on my personal one, I do a lot of the ones in Inazuma because I want to grind out the materials there. So I just find it easier to do that while I do the dailies. Really need to actually spend some time getting the rest of the the oculi, you know, the animunculi and the geoculi. Just because having the slow stamina is going to really hurt us whenever we head to Inazuma. So we might actually do an episode where I do that. I do cheat. I, I'm going to give you a straight up heads up on that. I do cheat a bit with that because I use a interactive map where I can mark off which animunculi and geoculi and whatnot I've found. And I know some people might call that cheating and everything. Like I said, I kind of admitted it myself. I do cheat with that. But I do find it a lot easier than trying to find them all just on your own. Because unless you have tons of time to devote to it, it'll take you hours, if not days, to find all of them. Because they're everywhere. And I mean, we did find most of them just on our journey. So it's not like it's that easy. But we might do that in the next episode or two. I might just pull up the interactive map and we might just go through and finish that off. Just because I think that would be a good thing to do. But, I don't know. I wouldn't show the map on screen, of course, just because of the fact that it's like, there's really no point to, but... There we go. That went pretty easy. But I think that's something we need to focus on doing, because the stamina, it's already kind of hurting us now. It's not like a huge deal, we're able to kind of cope with it. But it has caused a few issues here and there. 
but whenever we get to Inazuma, we need as much stamina as possible, both for running, climbing, gliding, etc. Because we are going to be all over the place, because that place, like I said, it is freaking huge. And so we're, we're going to need as much, like, just stuff in general as possible. Time for take off. Okay. That. Dang it. I was trying to get in there to activate fire, you jerk. Yeah, also in this update, they uh, fixed a lot of characters that had, like, special running animations or whatnot. So the ones that had, like, the... Oh, whatchamacallit. Like, there's Mona and Ayaka they have where instead of sprinting, they turn into, like, a puddle. And they're able to move around swiftly and everything. And so characters that have movements like that. So, like, Fischl, whenever she uses her triangle, well, her burst... Uh, she turns into Oz and everything, and she glides around. And before, she used to get stuck on objects and not be able to go, like, over rocks and stuff. It used to cause all sorts of issues and collision problems. And so they actually fixed that to where now characters that have movement modes like that, they don't collide with that stuff anymore, and it's awesome. I've tried it a little bit earlier today, and it's like, it is amazing. It makes a big, it really helps a lot. And it's little stuff like that that it, this update seems to have a lot of, like, little quality of life improvements, which is great. I feel like that's something the game has been needing for a while. It's just some of the smaller little things that have been kind of, not necessarily game breaking, but just kind of annoying players for a while. And it's awesome that they actually paid attention to some of those things and fixed them. Instead of just leaving them and, you know, making those characters not super fun to use. Let's see, because that was always a major problem. Like, uh, Yaelin is a character that I use a lot on my team, and she has that her, uh, her elemental skill is she does like a dash thing, but it sucked because if you go up the slightest incline or if you hit a rock or something, it just totally prevents you from moving and you get stuck and glitched out and it was always so annoying. It doesn't happen anymore and it is so much fun. Like I said, I run around my team all the time, just I always had to be very cautious about if the ground I was using it on is flat or not, which, you know, very annoying. Okay, we're on the last daily already. I'm pretty good at these, I gotta say. I mean, it's they're a lot easier on my other account because the characters are a lot higher level and everything, so I'm able to take out stuff a lot faster. So in this one, sometimes I have a little bit of an issue just because of that, you know, my damage output isn't where I want it to be just yet. But, you, you know, it's away. only been a few minutes and it's not bad. The daily should only ever take you a few minutes to complete them all. Yes, it is, Benny. Yes, it is, Benny boy. <laughs> Time there for we go. Let's off. light it up. Wouldn't gliding be faster? There we go. Lots of fire. Get Oz out here. Just finish this guy off. There we go. Awesome. Can you get out of the fire? Now we can go here and turn this all in. Now I'm debating. We usually do our wishes at the end of an episode, kind of like a finale thing. But I'm really debating debating whether or not to, because it is a good note to end off on, but if we do get Zhongli, it would be awesome to be able to, like, you know, have him to use Thank this episode. But you know what, now that I think about it, though, it would be better to get him at the end, because then that means we can maybe in the next episode go do some grinding for him, maybe? You know, do some new bosses we haven't got to do yet, that kind of thing. I know, we'll kind of see how the episode plays out. Like I said, because we got some more stuff in uh, Dragon Spine to do. Not a whole lot, though. There we go. Go ahead and claim our... What you want to call it's here? Okay. Yeah. So in Dragon Spine, we're actually getting see the land and tombs. The one that I don't know if we'll be able to finish, just because that's the one that it requires us to. What is it that we have to do for that again? There was there's something that we have to find or something, and it's not easy. I just remember having to do it before, and it was a real pain in the butt. So I don't know if we're gonna go through with that because it is worth Prima gems, but it's not like important to the story or anything. I do, however, want to finish the Festering Fang. I only need a little bit more Star Silver, so we'll probably be able to get that real quick. Let's see. Dragon Spine. Should be some right here on this path, because I don't think I gathered any today yet. As you saw, because I hadn't even done the dailies yet, and I think it already respawned and everything. I think it was back here, was there some? No, no, it was up ahead. I can never remember. Let's see. Should be... I thought it was right up ahead. Huh. I'm getting confused. It's weird. We were just here, but yet it feels like I haven't been here in forever. For some reason, I never really get used to Dragon Spine. It, like, I always get thrown off. There it is. I knew it was nearby. Dang it, something saw me. I don't know what it was that saw me, but something saw me. Oh, great. Of course it had to be those guys. Wait, how come I only got two Star Silver? I blew up, like, a lot of them. There should be way more than that. Uh, can 
you like go away, dude? I don't want to, you know what? I don't want to fight you. There, haha, -ha. loser. Don't know why he started climbing that, but okay. Um, hmm, that's weird though. I destroyed like four, of the, three or four of those star silver things, but it only gave me two. I don't know why that happened. That's kind of a little bit annoying. Unless, did I miss one? Did one, like, fly somewhere? Oh, there's one. How did it end up over there? Or, oh, I, did, I destroyed him right here. Duh. So it did end up where it was supposed to be, just they fell in the bush. Okay. Well, I only need three more. Um, what's this? Emergency supply point. If you need anything, help yourself with materials. There's nothing here but empty space. Okay, so that's nothing. Um, okay. Ooh, there's some star silver. Of course, it's near those guys. Just need one more. Come on. There's gotta be one nearby, right? There totally has to be some nearby. Uh, na, 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 na. Is there any over here? I don't remember if I ever ran across any back here. Did I ever run across any back here? I don't think I ever did. I'm kind of trying to remember the areas I've been to. Did I ever read this? I read this, right? I should have, because I should have activated all those. No, no star silver, no star silver. Okay, the only other places I know where there might be some. I'm trying to remember. Okay, another one of those emergency supply points. Nothing in there. Okay, I think this... Was it this cave that had some? No, it doesn't look like it has any. I'm just, seriously, I, why can I not remember where the, ever, the, like, I only remember this area at the base of the mountain, and then I know there's some, like, way up top somewhere, I think. That's about all I can remember, though. Let's see. I really like the music for this area. It's almost, it's kind of, like, a little bit ominous sounding, but also very, like, just bouncy and calm. I don't know. It, it's I know that's, like, a weird combo of words right there that, that probably made no sense because those words don't necessarily <laughs> go together. They kind of contradict, but if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, I see this is a drop-off. I see some helichurls and some explosives. So that's nothing. This is weird. Why can I not remember where any of these things are? Let's warm up. Like I said, this is a problem I always have, though, is whenever I'm actually looking for it. Like, remember the whole the whole pine cone incident? Ugh. Same thing. What the heck is this? Huh. Interesting. Gonna let these guys out. Let's light it up. I can. Sweet, this is the special frosty boars. They give the special chilled meat, which we need for making the stuff that prevents us from freezing. Oh, oh, the great snowboard. Oh, I forgot about this guy. By royal decree. No rest. Yep, yeah, Oz, no rest. Let's light it up. Oh dear. Shadow Raven, let night oh yeah, that seems to move a lot smoother. Ooh, and Bennett's unlucky. He turned like right at the last second to go straight for me. Let's just go ham on this. <laughs> no pun intended. Oh my gosh, I did I just realized that right as I was saying it, I was just like, hey, let's go ham. And then I was like, wait a minute, ham, boar, pig. <laughs> Sorry. I know that's probably not that funny to you guys, but oh man, I totally bad. Yeah, that made my day. Really doesn't take much, does it? Okay, I'm about to freeze to death if I can't warm up some. But there's like nothing here to help me warm up. This is bad. Uh-oh, I'm freezing now. This is bad. This is very bad. Okay, but he's almost dead. I can make it if I can just make it. Aha! 
Ooh, Bennett's gonna die here. I need to eat something. Uh, here we go. Sweet stuff. Uh, have you heard the ballad of the treasure chest? Well, sweet. So we got that taken care of. Wasn't trying to take care of that, but we did. Um. Okay, maybe there's some over here by the cavern entrance. There we go. Nice and warm. Seriously, I only need one more, and it's like, of course, it's the last one I can't seem to find. There should be some in here, I would hope, right? Let's see. Adventure time. Okay, I'm seeing lots of crystals. Come on, there has to be like some ore around here somewhere. Really, there's like none. Ow. Wasn't really ready for that, but okay. Come on, I want the stained mask. There we go. There is probably none in here now that I think about it. Because I don't remember if there was before. This looks like the perfect place for there to be some, though. He's dancing around a non lit fire. Is okay, there, buddy. Let's see. There we go. Didn't stand a chance. Um. Huh. I am not seeing any ore. You've got to be kidding me. This is getting a little ridiculous at this point. Okay, you know what? I know there's... No, oh, not there. Come on. There we go. Open the map. Um... I'm pretty sure it was right up here on top of this there was some, so I guess it's like the last area to check kind of thing. Um, I thought it was over here. Wasn't it supposed to be over here? Yeah, it's right over here. There should be some. Yeah, I see some off in the distance over there. Oh, there's also a whatchamacallit thing somewhere over here. I don't know where it's at, and I don't care, because I just want the stupid star silver ore. What's stupid is we're doing all this to get this weapon, and it, like I said, I'm pretty sure this is the weapon I was going to use on Rosaria. Because it's like the best weapon we can get as of now, but it's kind of like, eh. Are we even going to use her now? You know, we've got all these other characters we're using. You know, and that Fischl is phenomenal for our team. So we're supposed to go and talk to this guy. Okay, what do you got for me, buddy? What is it? I found some more dragon tooth. I was hoping you'd swing by. Listen, before you go gathering all the dra dragon tooth. Oh, I see you've already finished. My profuse apologies, but I've hit a slight snag. No matter what I hit this thing with, I simply cannot take so much of a sliver off of it. It's almost as if it really were dragon tooth. If so, then based on what I read, there are several rather specific methods to work with this material. One of them is to have the dragon tooth absorb some sort of dragon related vitality. Then use a dragon's tooth infused with dragon vitality to work the other pieces of dragon tooth into shape. But how to go about infusing something with dragon vitality? I haven't the foggiest idea. Any thoughts, Traveler? I'll, um, see what I can do. Great. Here, you take this dragon tooth, then. I'll leave you the whole side of things to do. If you... if... huh. If just the teeth cause this much hassle, bull dragons must be seriously complicated creatures. You think? Okay, so to vitalize it, this is pretty straightforward, that, you know, the, the skeleton we found, the heart. We... We... okay. Uh, da, 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 down we go. Ooh, okay, almost didn't stop in time there. That could have ended horribly. Go. Nice warm cave. Ooh, Fatui. Time for Bad Fatui. Everybody stand back! <laughs> okay, I gotta take these guys out as quick as possible before you do any shields. Oh, that actually went rather well. Oh, you're still alive? No, you don't. Strange glow emanates from this peculiar object. Extract vitality with dragon tooth. Dragon tooth, give it. Strange object seems to be reacting. 
The heart responded. Careful, we should expect the unexpected. Wait, there's some people coming. Great. More Fatui. Yikes, this was some plan on it, meant by unexpected. <laughs> so your plans involved the heart. So they know about the heart. Oh dear, I was trying to switch off the venti. I could have ended it horribly. I love this court stuff, it makes these fights so much easier. Uh oh, okay, those guys aren't going down. Come on, buddy. This stupid shield is making this really hard. I need to get some quartz and then smack it. Yeah, that did like nothing. Let's play. By royal decree. Oz out. There we go. Okay, this guy is like really not going down. Maybe some fire. Yeah, fire did a bit more damage. It looks like. This guy's just tanky and a half. Why can't I get this off before he hits me? Yes, I can. Come on, he's almost down. Venti. A little more Bennett. A little bit of Razor. There we go. Oh, seriously, there's more? Oh, it's these guys. Okay. Come on, Venti. Big squirrel. Whoa, I like, got stuck there. That was weird. There we go. Oh, there's still more. Come on, gather them all up. Official. I was like, she wasn't activating. There we go. Come on, Razor, get that. This dude. Take cover. By royal decree. Man, this guy is just so tanky. Get out of here. Okay, Bennett, your turn. Oh, come on, this guy is like almost dead. Come on, one more hit. No. Let's Bennett, maybe. Oh, come on, this guy's like on. There we go. Paimon thinks it's finished now. Let's go check on the dragon tooth. I'll take that with me just in case. Interesting. Something looks a little different about this dragon tooth now. And it seems more ominous, too. Let's get back and give it to Orban. Orban? 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 I don't know. Okay. All of this for a measly weapon. Yeah. Okay, we got the dragon tooth. What is it? I'm here about the dragon tooth again? My goodness, the luster and the texture? You actually managed it. You infused the tooth with dragon vitality. Wow, you are one extraordinary individual, my friend. This is great. I've already got someone to handle the star silver. Give me a moment or two. I will get this weapon made right away. So we give him this and this and this. And you give me weapon, right? That's how this works. Do, do, do. There, it's done. <laughs> Here, hold, hold that. How does it feel? How much do I owe you? Oh, don't worry about paying for it. The chance to work with these materials was a rare pleasure. No need to bring more into it. All right, I say this weapon is ready for an adventure, wouldn't you? I hope you'll take good care of it. Here we go. We got the dragon spear. Well, dragon spine spear, but yeah. Let's put it on Rosaria. Uh, Rosaria. There we go. Awesome. And there we go. Okay, so that kind of took our whole episode. I did not mean for it to take that long, but we did fight that boar boss thing too. But I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking... I really don't think we're going to be able to finish this, because does it have any markers for us? Oh, excuse me. I got the hiccups. Um. Yeah, it's just that one chamber, but we've got to find the rest of the statue thingies, and I'm not sure, like, the word statue thingies. And I'm not sure where they all are, where the ones we've already found, like those are located and everything. So we might get to that later, just because it's not that important. But yeah, in the next episode, we'll either, depending on how our 10 pool goes on our wishes, we'll either do some character material farming or we'll 
do maybe a side quest or two and maybe head over to Inazuma finally, you know, do the stuff to start getting ready for that. Because we got like two or three main quest things that we have to do to do that. But that's kind of our plan. So without further ado, let's do some wishing, guys. We're going to do a 10 pool. Get your fingers crossed for Zhang Li. We're close to pity, so hopefully we'll get him. But we did get Venti last time, so we're not guaranteed on the 50-50 this time. So here we go, everybody. 10 pool. Okay, it's a five star. It's a five star and okay, here we go, here we go. <gasps> yes! Oh freaking yes! Oh my gosh, we got Zhang Li. Okay, that changes freaking everything. He is a phenomenal character. He scales off of HP, which means he is tanky. His elemental skill is a shield plus a damage dealing pillar. And his elemental burst is a freaking meteor drop that does huge damage that also scales off of his HP. He is phenomenal, and I am so excited to get him. We really need a better spear now, though. I'm just now realizing that we really need a better spear. I think the Favonius spear is the one that's good from the Favonius lance. But anyways, that's besides the point. We are going to be building him in the next episode, then. This is awesome. What else did we get? Because we're also guaranteed a 4-star for a 10-pool. I'm kind of, as stupid as it sounds, even though I wouldn't mind a character, I'm kind of hoping we get a spear. Oh, we got Diona. Okay. I'm okay with that. She's a great healer, and she also does shielding, too, so that's actually good. And is that all we're gonna get? I say, is that all, considering, you know, what just happened? Let's see, anything else? Nope, okay. So that's not bad. We got two new characters, Zhongli and Diona. That is awesome, guys. Okay. Um, you know what? We got... Yeah, not enough for one more wish. We'll just go ahead and drop it. Might as well, right? Yeah, it's nothing. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to the shop and just, you know, buy this before the month switches over. There we go. You know what? I might go ahead and just do the two more, you know, use those other two wishes on this just because of the fact that getting another official would be awesome since we have her on our team and her constellations make her phenomenal. So let's just go ahead and do it. Let's see if we can get official. I mean, like I said, Diana's great because she is a really good healer, a shielder, and a cryo user. So. Okay, we got a purple. A lance or official? Official, yes! Oh, this has been a very good day for us, guys. Okay. That is awesome. So our little official here is our first constellation. Even when Oz is not present in combat, he can still watch over Fischl through his raven eyes. When Fischl performs a normal attack against an opponent, Oz fires a joint attack dealing damage equal to 22. Sweet! So that means whenever he's not on the field, we get extra shots. That is awesome. That's going to do some extra damage. That makes Fischl even better. And as for our other two, we've got Diona, who is, like I said, she is a great character for shielding and healing and doing large amounts of cryo damage in a large area. And where's our Zhang? Where's our Zhang Li? I'm, oh, there he is. I was like, please tell me he... There we go. Got me a little worried there for a second, buddy. And here's our Zhang Li. We are going to totally build him up and run him on our team. Now I just got to figure out who to replace. Oh, this is going to be a tough one. Oh, dear. Well, that's for future me to figure out and decide and have a hard time figuring but anyways on that happy positive amazing note we're gonna leave it there thank you all so much for watching if you liked the video remember to like it comment down below with your thoughts and opinions i look forward to hearing from you guys remember. and remember to subscribe if you want to see more from me in the future but until next time who see ya